Hey guys, today we are going to fix the iPhone 6S uh, water damage. Um, the phone is from a customer that we got this morning from Yelp. Um, pretty much used the phone. We're going to open it up and see what's going on underneath the hood and uh, try to fix it. And most likely when this happens, usually it's because um, the water just gets in the screen and the screen just goes crazy. And the best advice is to not plug it to the wall when you have water damage, let it die on its own the battery. And if you can't turn the phone off, so it will not cause more damage. But, but, but that's all you need pretty much to do. You can't really do much besides that. And then, as soon as possible, because time is the essence, <coughs> take it to a shop. And as soon as possible, shop or staples, they have a machine there too for water damage uh, specifically. So, yeah, let's do this then. And, um, Let's see. This this can also this can be considered a block 38, part of 38. Yeah, I think it's called 38. Okay, so this is block 38. This is iPhone 6s water damage phone. So we're gonna fix today in our block 38 and see if we can revive this back to life. It's not turning on, not powering anything. So we're bringing open the phone and see what's under the hood. Based on that, we can pretty much tell if it's gonna be fixed or not. It was dropped in, in the toilet, which is good because toilet uh, water is clean, it's not uh, chlorine, it's not the cl uh, chlorinated like the usually we, we, we get that a lot from the that has been dropped in the pool. So, hopefully, this is not a uh, pool. I mean, the pool drops usually, it's never good because the chlorine just kills the phone really quickly. This is a water, water drop, so a, a water drop. Uh, this was a toilet drop, so has a better chance of living again. You just have to see right now. Let's see it. Make sure there's nothing connected to the logic board so it will not cause more damage. Well, this part is not wet, which is great. That part is usually the A little bit wet, but it's not really wet, so it's kind of good news. So that's the screen out. Now we don't care about the screen right now because we're going to put a new one, anyways. Most likely 99% of the time. So we're just going to dry it up, whatever else we can. We take the battery out. You see, the sticker is still white, so it's still good. So it's not bad yet. It seems like it just the uh, water hit this part. So we're going to next thing that we can do really quickly is. Take out, take, out, take out our Black and Decker heat gun. Right, a little bit, we're gonna wait a little bit for it to dry a little. A little bit. Meantime, it's smart to also unplug the rear camera in case it had any kind of water on it. Just to check, yeah, that's good. But I mean, it's good to unplug just so it'll dry a little. We should also probably brought a battery, battery, but right now I'm gonna test it with this battery. If it works, then it's good. If not, then I'll also bring a new battery as well. Let's see how the battery takes it. If the battery doesn't work, that means I'm gonna change the battery as well. We'll see it right now, guys. Plug it. Yeah, the battery seems to be bad as well. So I'm not gonna push it, I'm just gonna take it off. And change the battery. Okay. I'm gonna bring a brand new battery. This way I can also see what's underneath the hood if it needs to be changed. Check out this battery. It seems like the battery is dead. That's out. Wow, you see there's still water in there. That means the battery did get messed up. See that water? Right there. Gotta 
picking that up. Once we clean that up, wipe it up, and then we gotta. It's best to uh, dry it up now with. Once this gets a little dry, we're gonna have to uh, put the new battery on, which is right here, and put the new screen on, which is right here, and see how that works. Hopefully, the charging cord it didn't get impacted, even though it's at the bottom, but still. Let everything dry up a little. Okay guys, we waited enough for it to dry and we are going to see if we if this is ready to be revived. Make sure the battery is perfectly aligned. Here's the uh, new screen. Put that on. Just trying to see if it's... I mean, the old battery for sure was dead because of the water. One, I think it's gonna work. Nice thing is time. Let's see, make sure this is there. You can plug the battery. New battery. Hey, this one can be perfectly easy. Okay. Time to see, guys. Still not turning on, it seems like it's dead. I'm gonna try to use my charging port external bank to see if it'll work. Maybe the battery is too new and it's dead. So. The charging port is dead. No, it's not. Yeah, the time for this I mean, the blue lights indicate that it's on. If it stays on, that means the charging port is working. But if it turns off, then it's it's it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it doesn't work. The charging port. Okay, guys, we're gonna put in a charge battery. if it'll power up. Seems like the the, the chip that triggers the thing is out. That's the thing that, that we're getting. Clearly. Seems like this part is the damaged part. Just drive this part because of the water just fell right there. That's the reason why it doesn't want to recognize any battery. I think if I should, if it's worth changing the charging port and seeing if it'll work. And the thing is that the logic board, it's, it's, the water is here, so I don't know if that'll put, make a difference. Maybe it's worth a try. Thinking if it's worth a try or not. Maybe it is. I mean, if it takes that to save the phone. Hey guys, so we're gonna try the charging port um, swap because everything else didn't work. So we still wanna kind of uh, be optimistic and assume that the charging port, uh, taking out the charging port and, and swapping it for a new one might make everything work. Because there's time that the charging port is the reason why the battery doesn't work. Like, I. I had that before, so we're gonna take it apart right now. Put on this brand new charging port and cross your fingers with me so that it'll work. So, Rina, the owner of the iPhone, will be able to go to New York tomorrow with a happy smile without any sad frowns.
usually the phone is completely naked. It's, everything is out, most of, most of it besides the buttons and the Wi-Fi. And not the Wi-Fi, the... Uh, looks like the flash. No, it's pretty much the buttons, everything else is gone. It's open. Okay guys, we are back, um, it's dry enough now, so we are gonna try and put everything together, not try, but put everything together, and then hope that everything works. brought a new screen hoping that is the screen that was that was not make, uh, allowing it to work really quick and put everything back together and just color thank you guys for watching this is phony RA gold this was a 6s a water damage phone that fell in the toilet for two minutes for 20 seconds I don't remember what she said I think she said 20 seconds and we tried everything we took off the charging port we, we replaced it we replaced the battery we replaced the screen we uh, took off the logic board everything else we dried it up really nice but it still didn't work and the reason why because this part was the part that was wet, which is the where the IC chip is, where it literally this little chip is, is in charge of taking the charge for the battery and then the sending it to the phone. So if that part was burned, that this part right here is where all the water was right here next to that big square. So since, since this part was gone, it couldn't really allow the battery to uh, it, it didn't really connect to the battery to be able to take the juice from the battery to the phone. So, so the screen will light up. That's why. So it's pretty much like a power out, power uh, outage for the iPhone. So usually when this part gets a little water and this part it isn't, it, there's a better chance that everything works. I mean, this part, as you can see, it, it still has a, a white sticker, white sticker, which is good. This part, however, under the the SIM card is it was red, so that indicating that the logic board was wet, which that's the reason why the logic board fried. And she did also charge the phone for like a minute, so that also caused that too. Usually when you have a water damage, do not put the phone on charge, no matter what. Avoid the rice. Rice is okay, but if you don't want any kind of a permanent damage to your phone, avoid the avoid avoid plugging this to your cable. Avoid that. No, it's a big no. So don't do it. 
As long as you do that, then you have a chance of actually getting the phone replaced. Because most of the time, it's just a screen. I mean, all we need to do most of the time is just change the screen, and everything else works. So it's mostly mostly just a screen that goes down, and sometimes the battery. But in this case, uh, it seems like the battery also went down because of the power outage that was caused by a short circuit right here because it ran right next to the battery, right actually on the battery connector and that caused the battery to go off and also the screen to go off and the logic board to, to, to be burned and fried for good, uh, permanently so that's about it guys, so that's iPhone success that we just tried, this was a, just a little thing that we just tried like a kind of challenge of, to bring the phone back to life trying to revive it, which we always try we even tried a hit gun, but it still didn't work. And by by trying to drive everything, but so thank you for watching. And um, just one advice that I should tell you guys is always buy a waterproof case, some kind, even like a bag, if you buy the pool or have some kind of a like a life proof. At least it's better than having no proof. If you are clumsy or if you drop the the phone a lot in the waters, in the water or sink or toilet or or ocean so definitely take care of your phone because once the water hits the phone it, there's no going back half the time but usually if you just take it out from the water and time is destined if you go to the nearest shop closest by staples is a great place to go shop shops are good but staples is my, is my number one because they have a machine that literally takes all the water out of the phone so that's one place that i would recommend for you guys to go and second will be to call a shop or call me 424-333-4711 or phone ER, phone-er.com or just and the links are all in this video at, uh, at the below so you can check it out but definitely take care of your phone because your phone will take care of you if you do in the meantime thank you for watching this phone ER golden and this is block 38 officially out and that's a cut and have a beautiful golden day already out and that's an official cut and a wrap for this video